Could you describe in your own words, um, nationally and internationally, how you would regard the health generally of the Mothers' Union at the moment? I think it's slightly different between nationally and internationally. Internationally, it's a very vibrant, uh, go-ahead organisation, particularly um, helping women and uh, young people in the way that Mary Sumner originally envisaged, helping them in their family life, education, health projects and so on. Nationally possibly not quite as um, not quite as vibrant and of course fundraising is, is particularly a problem at the moment as it is for all charities. Um, you know the economic situation people haven't got so much money so in that way it is it, things are a little bit more difficult. Yes. When you look at say the WI for instance over the last decade it's tried to reinvent itself using some quite radical methods mm -hmm. uh, one or two films come to mind and so on. How, how tough is modernism for the Mothers Union like kind of trying to be trendy and yet stick into its core values? I think we've probably been looking at things quite a, quite a bit in this way and, and particularly the way we look at relationships and, and so on and so that I think we are trying to keep ahead head and abreast with things but um, possibly not to the extent of perhaps uh, you know some of the calendars that WI do but on the other hand there we are. <laughs> now a lot of a lot of branches have struggled because family models have changed haven't they? The old yeah. idea of a married couple and a child I mean a lot of uh, myself as a priest you know a lot of uh, couples who come to me have already got a child or, yes, yes. or may have been married at least once yes. before. How, how has the Mothers Union dealt with that because in raising awareness throughout you know half the harvest time um, we need to kind of bring that whole harvest of relationships before God, don't we? There are many different ones. Yes, I, th I think that the one, the one thing we're particularly concerned in is having loving, stable relationships in which children can be brought up in, in a loving, stable relationship. And I think, I think there's been quite a lot of perhaps rethinking along those lines. And, and we are hopefully, you know, supporting every parent who is trying to struggling which it is a struggle sometimes these days to bring up children in a loving in a loving relationship tell us about rwanda well rwanda um, we've got mother's union mother's union has been in rwanda for a number of years um, it's a very very poor country i think it's probably i don't know what the figures are but it, it, it is very very low down in in gdp and so on um, infant mortality rate is very high. I think we have about 18,000 members in, 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 in Rwanda spread throughout 10 dioceses and in Derby actually we're, we're specifically linked with two of them, Butari and Kigemi. Um, they've, they've suffered enormously in, in that country as you know the genocide in 1994 which has particularly affected the lives of, of the women. Um, they were particularly affected, many of them have obviously been widowed as a result of the genocide. They've lost their homes. They've lost their families. A number of su vast numbers suffered rape, um, abuse, and so on as a re as a result of that. And so the Mothers Union has a terrific um, amount of work to do there. As a member of the finance committee of the Mothers Union nationally, and you, you do work in Mayor Sumner House, I am delighted that the Bishop of Derby has designated Harvest 2012 to support these projects. I think it's, it's, I think it's absolutely wonderful that he, that, he, that he is doing that and it will raise the profile you know, of, of Rwanda and of the Mothers Union there, you know, for, for that. And I, I think this is a fantastic opportunity. And I know these days you don't speak on behalf of the Mothers Union, the diocese, but for anybody anywhere in the country that's thinking, actually, the Mothers Union, I thought it was a, a bygone organisation, something from the past. Would you not want to encourage them as we approach Harvest to think again and actually support some of the international and local Absolutely, work? absolutely, because th there's terrific potential. There's a particular need for, you know, for the, the support of, the, of, of families, you know, throughout, throughout the world and particularly those that are struggling with, with poverty, ill health and particularly HIV and AIDS, which again is a, a, a great problem in Rwanda as from, you know, as a result of the genocide and so on, yes. Loving Lord, we thank you for your love 
so freely given to us all. We pray for families around the world. Bless the work of the Mother's Union as we seek to share your love through the encouragement, strengthening and support of marriage and family life. Empowered by your Spirit, may we be united in prayer and worship and in love and service reach out as your hands across the world. In Jesus' name.